welcome to traditional painting the digital way. This is where I use digital painting apps to teach traditional painting techniques. In this series of videos, we're going to be looking at a brand new painting app and it's called Realistic Paint Studio. This app is designed by the same people that have done Paint Storm Studio. Paint Storm Studio is kind of like Corel Painter and it has a lot of brushes and a lot of different functions. Now this app is designed to be sort of a simple painting app that mimics a naturalistic media. And so here's the beginning screen and it has several little demos that you can click on and it will show you how you uh, use the tools and how to paint the the scene that they have and so that's really neat that they have all these little tutorials that can teach you how to actually do the painting and then you can go back to the main screen and they have drawing watercolor and oil paints and they have different papers and here I've clicked on the drawing and they have different papers that you can use for the backgrounds and um, you can have them like they're on a, a desk there. It looks like they have a desk and they have a little toolbox that opens up and you can see all the different paint tools and you can see what they uh, do on the side there. And If you click on that, um, those tutorials, you can see how to paint those. And I went ahead and uh, clicked on the uh, first tools and they're kind of like a mechanical pencil. And so here I'm just kind of uh, doing a little sketch of a yucca plant. And you can go ahead and um, pick your colors. You have different colors. Um, you can uh, adjust the size of the color wheel that's in the corner there and you can adjust your background if you want it to look like different uh, desks and things like that and you can adjust your pin pressure work on it a little bit things like that and so here I'm just kind of playing around with it and um, you can enlarge the color wheel there in the corner and then here's some more uh, mechanical type pencils that you can uh, play around with and I'm just uh, doing a little bit more of a sketch like a yucca here and and then you can click on it and they'll give you a whole bunch of different colored pencils which is really fun because I like colored pencils and um, it's kind of neat to click on the pencils from the side or you can just get them from the, the color picker, but it's just kind of a neat little app to that mimics working in a natural studio is sort of the idea. And of course they have a whole bunch of different shades of colored pencils. So they have pastel colors and I'm just kind of playing around with some of those colors. And then they have regular pencils that look like uh, HB pencils and the different hardnesses that you get in uh, using a, a pencils and they also have um, different kinds of erasers, soft erasers, hard erasers and um, every time that you click on the tools uh, it pops up the little toolbox and then it shows the different kinds of tools that are there and you can also do that from the top they have a, a little palette and brushes and things like that so if you click on that it, and also the layers are up there on the the top of your program and so I'm playing around with some of the drawing pencils these are like um, art drawing pencils and you can put it on the, the dark color to to make it look like a, a natural pencil and here's some more pencils that you can do and they have different hardnesses they're made to mimic the different hardnesses and i'm just kind of doing a really sketchy look because um, i'm having a little bit of trouble with lag on this program it it's in the beta stage right now and you can pick it up cheap for around 25 dollars and that'll give you all the tools and uh, you just kind of can play around with it and 
and maybe report back to them what some of your problems are and so it's pretty laggy on on the surface pro 5 here but it does give it a really neat look and that was the markers that i was playing around with and here are the uh, graphite pencils graphite sticks and again there's kind of a bit of a lag there i was trying to do a a sort of a larger area there and they have the blending stumps and these are really nice though they give it a kind of a grainy look and make it look very realistic and um, they give it a kind of a nice uh, look there in the sky and then you can click on chalk pastels and these are fun because the, the, it looks like there's chalk pastels that you're actually picking them up except that you don't actually get your hands all messy so that's kind of neat and I'm just kind of trying to cover more in the sky and again having a little bit of problem with lag there and I'm using the blending stomps to sort of spread that out and it they work nicely with the pastels so that does work pretty well and then they also have these markers here that are like um, highlighters like you used to have in school where you'd highlight your notes and things like that so that's kind of neat you can uh, just play around with those and they don't have very many colors because they're all sort of a fluorescent style and of course there's the erasers again and you can sort of play around with those and try to get some kind of a uh, a negative shape if you want to you can erase things out and work sort of like a naturalistic medium and then here you can export your picture out as a jpeg file with a background so that it looks like you did this in a, a real studio or something and you can upload these to instagram and facebook and things like that and this is kind of a fun little thing to um, do for social media but if you don't want this background you can just export it out as a plain picture without all the the background and it'll just be a plain picture file that you can use for um, drawing in other programs and things like that and they have several different backgrounds that are kind of neat and kind of fun it's just kind of a fun thing and here's a few more there's one more with the chalk pastels and and uh, then you can uh, save it in the files there and or you can go back and and export it out as just a plain uh, picture there and then here you can play around with the watercolors and they also have different papers that you can use and it's kind of fun because they have all the different watercolor brushes and sumi ink brushes and all the different kinds there and then off to the side they have like their real ink bottles or their real watercolor palettes so that's a lot of fun there and they also have a sponge in this set and and some salt and just things that will mimic um, actual watercolor and so here i'm trying to get kind of a i'm just trying to kind of get the sky going but again i'm having some trouble with the flow and the lag and on this program and so i was trying to kind of get a, a sort of a sky color here and it's pretty uh it's pretty laggy i mean i really like this program and i hope they can kind of get rid of some of this lag and it's not my machine because my surface pro 5 works really well with art rage and even corel painter 2021 so they just kind of need to tweak this program a little bit and here i'm trying to use a different uh, uh, brush for the watercolor effects they have several different ones they have a a really soft looking one and a diffuse looking one and so i'm trying to kind of get a you know trying to make it work it's kind of an uphill battle on this a little bit so I'm using the a sumi ink style brush there and then this this brush seems to work a little bit better and it's i guess more of a traditional 
watercolor type of a brush here and I'm trying another one just trying to kind of get it to to um, spread out a little bit and so here this one works I can't really get it to do much I think it's like a mop brush or something where you're supposed to be able to do large areas and then this one is a splatter uh, rough type of brush and it does pretty well seems to and then this is kind of a this one's neat because it tapers off it's the tapered brush it uh, gets bigger in the middle and then tapers off and and then I like this because uh, it's an ink thing and you can just make ink drips and it just kind of does that naturally it you, depends I think on how long you press your stylus on the on the uh, paper there the screen really as as to how long it drips so that's kind of fun and then this is the salt effect like if you were throwing salt on your regular watercolor to get that look and then here's kind of a smudge uh, blending look there the, and these are the sponges trying to get uh, the blending look and it's kind of neat they work they work pretty good too and so you can uh, just kind of uh, play around with those and then here are the erasers you can actually erase um, sort of I mean you can't really in real watercolor but you can in this program and then here these are all the inks and these are like the Japanese inks the Japanese ink uh, techniques and there's quite a bit of lag on on these for me but you can kind of get some sketchy effects with them so I'm just kind of playing around with those and as, these I think are the tools that you have to pay a little extra with you can buy the basic program for twenty dollars and then if you want all the tools you can pay twenty five dollars and so I just Went ahead and got all the tools to try out and so these are some more ink type pens and um, you can override those colors and and uh, just use different colors for these and these are like ink brushes and they would really make a, a I think a really neat effect if it, it just didn't have quite so much lag and other people try this program and they have I guess maybe more powerful computers or something and they're not having maybe quite as much trouble on this I don't know I've seen some comments and people have actually had the same problems that I do so I mean this is a really neat program I think they just kind of need to tweak it a little bit work on it a little bit more and work on the work on trying to get rid of that lag a little bit and so here these are the different kinds of brushes um, here they have like the rake brush and these are like dip pen nibs so they're kind of neat and here's some more ink brushes and this kind of they kind of give it a, a tapered look which would be really neat if you can get it to to work right for you and and these are kind of an odd uh, a smudge brush type thing I'm not sure exactly what it's supposed to do I think they do like patterns or something that's what those were and then these are more like a dip pen again or a kind of a silver type pen but anyway so that kind of gives you an idea of the pens that they have in this um, program realistic paint studio so this is the end of part one and then in part two I'll show you the rest of the um, oil paints and kind of the tools they have tools and all kinds of things so thanks everybody for watching thank you so much for your support if you want to see uh, the rest of my review hit the subscribe button and if you have any questions just leave them in the comments down below and I will catch you later